Welcome to CarDesign.Academy and this is the second in, uh, part in the series on how to set up wheels and tires for your model. Um, so in the last demo I, I did just a quick study um, just going back to uh, these very simple cylindrical shapes that represent um, uh, rims and tires in a published dimension. So I'm doing a Corvette front and a Corvette rear. So here I've taken the Corvette front tire and I've, I've put a, a more realistic tire section on it. Uh, as, as well as fill in the backside. So I'm just gonna show you really quick how I do that. Uh, so I'm gonna go on to the rear tire and just going into the uh, radius tool and alias. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab the curves, turn off all the control points. I don't need those anymore. And so uh, I'm gonna, using the round tool, I'm gonna select the edge and I'm gonna type in 50 for the radius size. Make sure I hit both sides of that and there you go. Do the same thing on the other side. And then uh, I'm going to go in and fill the back side with a planar surface. So I'm going to select the circle. That just puts in a simple planar surface back there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, um, this inner part of the cylinder um, set a pivot point towards the back of the rim. I'm going to, I'm just going to scale that in inward a little bit. I'm going to delete that little bit of sidewall there. Then I'm just going to put in a skin surface that gives it a little bit more of a beveled uh, section like that. So that gives you a very nice uh, convincing tire silhouette for a uh, sports car tire. So um, I'll just go ahead and do that again with the CUV tire. And so I'm gonna turn off my control points. Don't need those anymore. Just using my round tool. I can actually click on all four of these at the same time. Hit my back surface. and grab that inner, uh, inner rim section. Set the pivot towards the rear and bring that, bring that inner rim surface, bring that inner rim surface back a little bit. So, now I'm just gonna do a quick uh, skin. So there we have our CUV tire. So you can see this is a very aggressive, uh, uh, sporty CUV dimension here. Okay, so uh, lastly, the truck. Now that's, gonna, that's probably gonna be a little bit different. So let's take a look at that. Um, because the sidewall is so thick on this thing, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, select, select everything, turn off the control points. Uh, this time I'm gonna put a, uh, let's start with the round, of you know, section of 50 millimeters again. Actually, I'm gonna bump it up to 70 and see what that looks like. We can always adjust it. Yeah, that, that looks reasonable. I'm gonna fill in the back side again. And then I'm gonna grab that inner rim section. Scale that in a bit. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, I better delete the construction history. Okay, so let's bring that in. And what I might need to do on this one is um, is give it a slight uh, curvature on that on that uh, inner sidewall section. So I'm just going um, to snap a curve here. 
right on the I'm just going to connect these two sections here I can just grab these CVs pull them pull them out just a little bit And then uh, what I can do then is I just hit a revolve. So I'm going to take this curve. It's already got a. It's already got a. Um, okay, now I've got to align the uh, pivot point at the center, at the zero point, and then I'm going to just using under surfaces. I'm going to use the revolve tool, and uh, we're going to make that a 360 degree revolve in the y-axis. There we are. Let's put a little more puff on that tire section. What I can do is I can actually align, if I don't want to see an edge at all, I can just um, align it. So object edit, align, and I'm just going to do a G1 continuity. That just aligns the first point. So align that curve to this section. And that just brings that point out a little bit more. So now when I show a model, you can see it's it's pretty smooth. Um, what I don't like though is how, how that surface isn't quite combining. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try it a different way. Uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, duplicate this curve here and scale that about halfway down but I'm gonna leave it aligned with the outer the outer circle so then what I'm gonna do is use the skin again and just do a multiple skin so if I hold the shift key I can hit multiple curves and it'll it'll curve to that you can see it's curving to that section um, and then I can just adjust the um, just the, the diameter of that curve to adjust the the, uh, the section there. So see that's much smoother now. Might bring that one in just a little bit more. Yeah, that's that's quite smooth now. Okay, yeah, it, I mean, Alias is, um, I mean, I love working in polygons, but Alias is a great way to do things that are very precise and uh, numbers driven. So uh, when it comes to building, you know, tires to publish dimensions, you know, I like the precision of being able to just punch in those dimensions. Um, so um, let's save that. And then uh, for the next demo, I will show you how to properly set up your wheels and tires in, uh, in terms of a wheelbase, a, uh, an overall vehicle width, and, um, and, and then be able to set up everything you need to, to start a model in Gravity Sketch, uh, including showing you how to export the files into a Gravity Sketch friendly format. So uh, please stay tuned.